Welcome to our doctor channel, your destination for reliable medical information, breakthrough research, and insightful discussions on all things health-related. The heart and circulatory system, also known as the cardiovascular system, play a crucial role in delivering oxygen and nutrients to the body's cells and removing waste products. Here's a detailed explanation of how they work. 1. The heart. 1. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest, slightly left of the center. 1. It is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. 2. The structure of the heart. 1. The heart has four chambers, two atria, upper chambers, and two ventricles, lower chambers. 2. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body while the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. 3. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation, while the left ventricle pumps oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. 3. The cardiac cycle. 1. The heart functions through a coordinated cycle known as the cardiac cycle, which consists of two phases, diastole and systole. 2. During diastole, the heart relaxes, and the atria fill with blood. 2. The tricuspid and bicuspid, mitral, valves between the atria and ventricles open to allow blood to flow into the ventricles. 3. During systole, the heart contracts. 3. The atria contract first, pushing the remaining blood into the ventricles. 3. Then, the ventricles contract, forcing blood out of the heart through the pulmonary and aortic valves. 4. Heart Valves 1. The heart has four valves that ensure one-way blood flow. Atrioventricular, AV, valves, these are the tricuspid valve, right side, and the bicuspid, mitral, valve, left side, that separate the atria from the ventricles. Semilunar Valves these are the pulmonary valve, between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, and the aortic valve, between the left ventricle and the aorta. They prevent blood from flowing back into the ventricles after each contraction. 5. Blood Circulation 1. Blood circulates through two distinct pathways, the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. Pulmonary Circulation deoxygenated blood from the body is pumped into the right atrium. It then flows through the right ventricle and is pumped to the lungs via the pulmonary artery for oxygenation. Oxygen-rich blood returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins and enters the left atrium. Systemic circulation, oxygenated blood from the left atrium enters the left ventricle and is pumped into the aorta, the body's largest artery. The aorta branches into smaller arteries, which carry oxygen-rich blood to all body tissues and organs. After delivering oxygen and nutrients, the blood returns to the heart through veins and enters the right atrium to start the cycle anew. 6. Blood Pressure 1. Blood pressure is the force exerted by blood against the walls of blood vessels. 1. It is necessary for maintaining blood flow. 2. Systolic Pressure the higher number, measures the pressure during ventricular contraction, while diastolic pressure, the lower number, measures the pressure during ventricular relaxation. 7. Regulation of heart rate. 1. The heart rate is controlled by the autonomic nervous system, with the sinoatrial, SA, node, often called the natural pacemaker, initiating each heartbeat. 2. The sympathetic nervous system increases heart rate, while the parasympathetic nervous system decreases it. 2. Hormones, such as adrenaline, can also influence heart rate. 8. Blood Composition 1. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, that carry oxygen, white blood cells, leukocytes, that fight infection, platelets, thrombocytes, that aid in blood clotting, and plasma, a liquid component that carries nutrients, hormones, and waste products. The heart and circulatory system work together to ensure a continuous and efficient flow of oxygenated blood to all body tissues and organs. 
proper functioning of this system is essential for maintaining overall health, and any disruptions can lead to various cardiovascular diseases. Lifestyle factors such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, and avoiding smoking can help maintain cardiovascular health. Medical interventions may be necessary for individuals with heart-related conditions.